pink. It's supposed to be just a color, so it's kind of annoying to me that it's actually become so much more than this. For a lot of people, at least myself, this color is complicated. Growing up in America, this color can be soft, feminine, it's a girl. Janelle Monet, ballerina, princess, Victoria's Secret, not a boy. Girls wear pink, boys wear blue. Girls are pink, boys are blue. It goes beyond color and becomes a box of what young kids are supposed to like, supposed to do, and supposed to look like. Cutting the cake and seeing pink means that you're having a girl. A baby girl is born, so we put a pink bow on her head. When I was a little girl, I loved hot pink. Did I actually love it? Or did I just love it because I was trained to love it? I think I just genuinely liked the color. And my bedroom featured all my favorite bright colors, pink, orange, and green. As I grew up, my favorite color shifted from hot pink to then bright orange. From bright orange, I then shifted to turquoise. And from turquoise, I then shifted to mint slash teal slash light teal. And that's kind of where I've landed. But somewhere between turquoise and mint, I grew embarrassed by pink. And somewhere between turquoise and mint, I also discovered my queerness. I hated the cis heteronormative connotations that pink carried. Anytime a cis man would wear pink, he would either be applauded or laughed at. And anytime a cis woman would wear pink, she was just a girly girl who only cared about makeup and fashion. Why were little girls who maybe didn't even identify as little girls being forced to obtain whatever it was that pink represented? Even though I never felt that pink was forced on me, I am mad for the little girls who did have it forced on them. I'm mad for all the times I was paid less, trusted less, listened to less because I was a girl. When inside, I felt strong and capable because I was strong and capable. This color carries enough power to create a whole societal construct. Maybe I can harness that power for myself. Maybe I can take the power that society gives it and just give it to myself. It is a color that I actually like. It's a color that can elevate a logo, a closet, a workplace, a home, an entire mood. So I started a reclamation of pink, not for the world, not for others, but for myself. I can wear pink and be powerful. I can wear pink and love makeup and fashion. I can wear pink and hate makeup and fashion. I can let my pink be an act of resistance. I can define this color. I can define my own womanhood. This color does not define me. It's just a color and honestly, a nice one.